you have to focus on the positive because otherwise it will it will get the better of you and that's all that's all I've tried to do in this situation it took me took me a while to come around to that sense of thinking but I'm, I, I mean I'm there now and I'm hoping I've still got the odd fear that I might fall back into the previous pit of despair I was in but I'm hoping it, I'll stick with it and you know stay positive <laughs> I did a pregnancy test, mm. <laughs> but it was positive. <laughs> um, yeah, we were a bit shocked. Yeah. Are you done? Hello. 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 All right. Hello. I'm Wendy, one of the midwives, and Hello. this is Kaylee, my student. Hello. Have you ever been in before? So we need to see what's happening. So blood pressure, tissue, urine. Feel the baby's position. And we need to put a label on you while you're here as well, so you don't do get muddled just up. Just got your it. details on, just so we know okay. who you are. In terms of contraception, I just I wasn't the most cautious of people. Um, I think I under, underestimated the um, the importance of it. I think that's all I can really say. I didn't I didn't take it seriously enough, really. And you know that's part part of the reason we're in the situation we're in. See the belly button stuck yeah. right out. So yeah. you must be in a really good position with the back right out by the looks of it. I did feel like quite sad originally. I did think. Well, having a child would stop anything that I really wanted to do. I thought, you know, I'm going to miss this this freedom that I've got because I lived quite a party lifestyle. So it was um, at first there was that initial, yeah, I guess you could call it sadness about saying bye to that. I see in your bath plan that you wanted gas and air, didn't you, and to use the pool? Right, so gas and air. So as soon as the pain starts, as soon as you feel it building, mm -hmm. start using it or it doesn't work. OK. OK? Have a practice and just see what you feel. So bite on it. Nice big suck in. Keep it in your mouth and, and breathe out. out. So big breaths through your nose, out through your mouth. And just let your knees drop through my, apart. Through my nose. Through your nose and out through your mouth. <laughs> OK. Then keep it in your mouth. It's got a valve on it. Try again. <laughs> 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 she's drunk already. Oh, God. No, she's just don't call it laughing, gas or nothing. Yeah. Keep it in. That's it. And then we can put the girl in a proper room, can't we? So she can come straight down? Yes. Oh, I'm oh, going to find me a red pen, please. Black pens. I was worried that I'd pass out because I'm really squeamish. If I watch programmes and there's blood in it, I feel a bit faint sitting on the sofa. Even just going into a hospital to visit someone that's in hospital, as soon as I go in, I smell the hospital. I'm like, oh, I just hate the smell of hospitals. I hate being in hospitals. I'm just really, I'm the real worst. I've, I've been to like a doctor's point with my friends who've had like smear tests and stuff, and I've literally passed out on the floor and puked all over myself. I'm going to fill two fingers in some cold jelly. Okay, like I say, at any time it becomes too uncomfortable, just tell me to stop. Okay? It's going to start now. Some long, slow, deep breaths for me. Fantastic. Well done. Your baby's moving there. I can feel it just on the tips of my fingers. If it's OK with you, I'd like to Joe to break your water if that's all right. OK. I'm doing so well. So, so well. Just slide it along your fingers. That's it, the baby's head. And you turn it round so the hook's facing upwards. That's, That's it. it. And then just, yep, yeah, just give it a good feel round with your fingers. Make sure you can just feel the baby's head and nothing else. 
Nice clear water, so that's good. Are you alright lying down? Oh, no. do you <laughs> Sorry about this. Oh, I'm really used to it. Absolutely. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Good push. Keep that going. Brilliant. Well done. Stingy and stretchy. Okay, and that's good. I always used to think it was like a cliche woman crushing fingers when they're laid off. She's doing it. It's all right though. I'll do my bit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get burned. You have to focus on the positive. You have to focus on the positive because otherwise it will, it will get the better of you. And that's all, that's all I've tried to do in this situation. It took me, took me a while to come around to that sense of thinking. but. I'm, I mean, I'm there now, and I'm hoping I've still got the odd fear that I might fall back into the previous pit of despair I was in, but I'm hoping I'll stick with it and, you know, stay positive. Up into the top of your baby's head. Go on, keep it yeah, coming. Lydia, oh, fantastic. <laughs> brilliant, Lydia. Another big fish oh, if it's still there. Brilliant. Normal to take about an hour for a first baby to push it out, okay? There's nothing that big's been through there before. Right, so it all needs to stretch, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> She's been doing it. I'm not commenting. Um, yes, yeah, so everything's got to stretch, okay? So it's all normal, okay? It's normal to take that long as well, okay? So you're going to feel her rocking backwards and forwards a bit at the moment. Tiny little push. Oh. You're trying to keep it just under the water. Yeah. 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 Yeah.